In this SketchUp video, I want to cover the basics of how you move an object and then also how you can copy it. So the first thing we need to do is create a simple object to move around. So I'm going to grab a, uh, the rectangle tool. I will click and pull my mouse out and I will just make something that's 5 feet by 5 feet. Then I'll use my push-pull tool and pull that up. 10 feet. So we've created a big box. Once we have an object created and we want to move it, we have to figure out how to select it first. One way to do that is to click and drag and do a large crossing selection around that. And then we have the entire object selected. That technique works fine uh, when we have just one thing. Uh, it works you know, very easily, but once you have um, a more complicated model, getting the right view where you're able to do a big click and drag box like that is uh, pretty hard, actually. It, it gets a little clunky. So we need to discover other ways of selecting uh, what we're gonna move, basically. So to do that, we can we really select with one, two, or three clicks. So if I select anything by one click, I get the face or an edge, an edge or a face. If I double click on any face, I'll get the face and all of its associated edges. So I can double click on any face and get all of the uh, edges that are associated with it. If I want to get an entire object, no matter if it's this simple or very complicated, I can triple click on it. And that will select the entire thing. We'll be getting into um, this, the issue of um, you know, selecting and all of that when we talk about groups and components as well. And that's where this type of thing becomes um, a little more complicated. So once again, I want to select this object. I'll triple click on it. And then I'm going to pick the Move tool. The Move tool is located right next to the Push-Pull tool. Once I have that, what I need to do is select where I'm, you know, where I'm going to grab this object from. And that's, you know, that's going to matter um, when we have something more complicated if we want to snap it to another object or something like that. Since we just, you know, want to move this object from point A to point B, it doesn't matter a whole lot. But I still think it's a good idea to grab a corner or a midpoint or something so you have an understanding of really where this is going to go. So I'm going to click this corner down at the bottom. When I do that, the value control box now says length. So it's going to go from that point I picked in whatever direction I want it to, and it's going to very nicely snap to my axis lines if I want it to. And I can actually type in a measurement. I could say I want that to go 10 feet, enter, and it will move exactly 10 feet along that axis line that I had activated. I could move it again, and just so we know, if I click and just click again, that will be you know, just enough to move it. So you can either do it um, to an arbitrary measurement by just clicking or actually type it in. Now if you wanted to make a copy of this shape, you might go over and start digging around and notice that there isn't an actual copy tool. What you have to do is use the Move tool with a keyboard shortcut. So with the Move tool activated, what I'm going to do is hit the control key. The control key lets me toggle on or off that little plus sign. When I have that plus sign, it means I'm actually going to make a copy of this object and move the copy over. So I could grab this lower point again, and now when I pull my mouse out, you'll see that the original one here is staying put, and now I'm moving a copy out 10 feet away. That plus sign has disappeared from my cursor now, even though I still have the Move tool active. So I will hit the Control key again, click that lower corner, move it out, and say I want this one to go 15 feet, Enter, and there you have it. So Move and Copy are basically just associated with the same button. So you use Move on its own, or you hit the Control key to get the plus sign on your cursor to make a copy of whatever you have selected.